He was fun, loving, caring, always laughing. Christmas will never be the same without their murdered brother, Jack. And Donna and Jenny are convinced he'd still be alive if the police had done their job properly. Three other young men had already been found dead in the same part of East London, but officers failed to link the cases. And when Jack died, they refused to believe there was a killer at large. It just didn't add up. Um, and when we put all the different bits to them, and they just initially said that we were wrong and that that wasn't the case. 41-year-old former chef Stephen Port was eventually caught and jailed last month for murdering the four men he'd met on dating websites. Now the Taylors and two other families are suing the Metropolitan Police. If they'd done what they were supposed to, lives would have definitely been saved. And obviously certain people wouldn't have been raped and gone through what they've gone through. So to us, they need to be held accountable. It's as simple as that. You would no doubt Jack would still be here. 100% Jack would still be here. And, you know, as a family, we've not sat down and grieved. We, we've not done any of that because all we've done so far since Jack died is, is literally had to fight for people to listen. The bodies of all of Stephen Port's four victims were found in or around this graveyard here in Barking. But for months and months, the police didn't treat any one of those deaths as suspicious. Scotland Yard has since admitted it missed potential opportunities, but the families of the victims remain convinced that the police failed because of the way they investigated the deaths of these four young men who all were gay. It was homophobic. I really do think that. And they just refused to investigate anything. Didn't matter what you said to them, all they got all the time was nothing to investigate. I mean, Daniel wasn't a party boy. He wasn't out there doing that kind of thing. And when he did go out, he went out with his partner. Um, they, didn't want, they didn't want to know about the personality of your son. They didn't want to know, really. They'd, they'd made up their minds and that came across. Scotland Yard wouldn't respond to the family's comments today. The police watchdog is still deciding whether the force discriminated against Port's victims because they were gay. Nick Beek, BBC London News, Barking.